All right, guys, so today we're gonna check out the brand new Anchor Spirit Dot 2. Now, if there's anything about Anchor, I can honestly say they're one of those companies that every time they come out with a new product, they seem to keep outdoing themselves. So we're gonna check out to see if the Spirit Dot 2 is worth the $80 price tag. And actually, I think there's something that makes this very impressive, but there's also something that kind of holds it back a little bit. But let's go ahead and check out some of the specs and what it is you get inside the box. Now, the first thing that I wanna point out is honestly, I think what they did with these is they were able to make a baby version of the Liberty 2 Pros. Now, they're not exactly like them because they don't have some of the same features, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, these do have Bluetooth 5.0. They have a very solid connection. I didn't notice any kind of dropouts. I didn't notice any lag with videos or with movies. There is a slight lag when it comes to playing games, but even at that, it's still barely noticeable. And as far as the IP rating, these are completely waterproof coming in rated at IPX7. So this is a pair that you can easily go out and do what you need to do and you don't have to worry. You can even submerge them into water and they're gonna be fine. Now inside the box, you are getting the usual small, medium, and large silicone ear tips, but you're also getting three sets of the air wings. Now these are the silicone pieces that stick out a little bit and it keeps them more secure in your ear. So again, if you are gonna be out and about, you don't have to worry about these falling out. And they honestly are one of the most comfortable pairs that I've worn, and it's just one of those that you can easily forget is even in your ear. Now, as far as the charging cable, I'm happy to say that they come with a USB-C cable. And speaking of the charging cable, the battery life on these are also fairly decent. Now, on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get around five and a half hours of use, where with the charging case, you're gonna get around 16. Now, if you do happen to pick these up and they are dead, they do have the fast charge feature where a 10 minute charge will get you an hour's worth of use. Now, moving over to looking at the case, I really do like the look of the case. I like the lid and the fact that it just slides open. I don't like the flap that's on the back covering the charging port. I've just never been a fan of this. It's not really a big deal, but it's just a personal preference. Now, moving over to looking at the front, you can see the three indicator lights, and that's so that you can gauge about how much battery life is left on the case. And then when you slide it open to look at the earbuds, the first thing you'll notice is these are not as big as the Liberty 2s and the Liberty 2 Pros. They definitely have a smaller footprint and therefore they don't stick out as much. And they're just, again, a very comfortable pair of earbuds to wear. Now, as far as the controls, this is where I have my biggest issue with these because they do have touch controls and the touch controls work fine but I'm very confused on why they picked the controls that they picked, because you don't have control over everything. You have play, pause, and you can skip your track forward, but you can't go backwards. And also you don't have any volume control on here, so you will have to summon your smart assistant or either pull out your phone to control the volume. And for me, that's just kind of a pain because I prefer to have my controls all on the earbuds themselves. Now for you guys that like to use your earbuds individually, you'll be happy to know that you can use either the left or the right. And then when it comes to the microphones on these, I think they did a decent job. And I really don't think that anybody on the other line will have any complaints. But you guys can be a judge by listening to a test here. All right guys, so here is a mic test using the Spirit.2s. Like I said, I think it picks up my vocals very well, but this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call. So now here is a mic test with a crowd noise being played on a speaker in front of me, which you can hear here. And so this is what it would sound like if you were to take a call public. So now let's talk about the sound because the sound, in my opinion, is what makes these worth the price tag. Because if you're a fan of the Liberty 2 Pros and you like that really dynamic sound, that's exactly what these deliver. And in fact, they actually deliver a little bit more bass than the Liberty 2 Pros. I don't know how they did it in a smaller earbud, but the bass on these is very impactful. I mean, they have that subwoofer type feel, but they still were able to keep it very tight in a sense so it doesn't affect the mids and the highs because this is a very clear sounding earbud. The only thing really holding these back from being the Liberty 2 Pros is they're not compatible with Soundcore's app. So you can't really adjust different settings like you can in the Liberty 2 Pros, but those are $150 and these are 80 bucks. So the bass is fantastic. It's very punchy. Uh, the mids are pushed forward to where you can hear every detail in male and female vocals. I'd had no issues with hearing strumming of guitars. The clarity that's coming out of the treble just made every genre 
really enjoyable to listen to. Now, I listen to everything when it comes to music. So when it comes to extremely heavy metal, it just sounded clean. It never sounded congested. Hip hop had a lot of impact when it came with the bass. Pop, you can hear vocals and synths and everything just very cleanly. So overall, it's a really pleasing sound to listen to. Now when it comes to the sound stage and the sound imaging, the sound stage even sounded fairly open because even though the bass has that really impactful feel to it, it does have a little bit of air. That way it doesn't sound like it's right here in front of you and it opens up your sound a little bit. And as far as telling where details are coming from, these handle that with no issue. I could easily tell what's coming from different directions and the vocalists always sounded like they were right here in front of me. Now I will say that these are not perfect. I do have a couple of cons with these, one being the controls. I don't understand why you can't go back to your previous track and I really don't understand when companies don't have volume control on the earbuds themselves. And then my only other con is I wish that these were compatible with Soundcore's app. That way, if you're somebody that's not a huge fan of bass and you want to tone that down a little bit, you would be able to do that. I mean, I guess you can do that with third-party apps, but I really like it when the companies have an app that works with their device, like the Liberty 2 and the Liberty 2 Pros, but for some reason, they don't have them compatible with these. But outside of that, if you are a bass head and you like to feel bass, or if you're just somebody that listens to a lot of different genres of music and you want something that plays well with every single genre, I think this is an excellent pickup for 80 bucks. But guys, that's my video on the brand new Anchor Soundcore Spirit.2. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.